how's it going today? Hopefully y'all are having a great day. What we're going to talk about in this video is finding transfer functions when you're giving, given the state space equations. All right, so first let's write down our standard state space equations. So we know we got the x dot where x is our state vector. And then we're going to have the A matrix times the state vector x plus b times u. All right, and all of these are matrices or vectors. Now our output equation is going to be y equals c times x. And let's draw a little block diagram here just to represent what's going on here. So this block is going to represent the transfer function g of s. We've got an input coming in here. That input is going to be u. So you can see right here we have the input u. And then what comes out is y. So just so we're sure on what's input, what's output. Now let's call this equation 1, this one equation 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to derive the equation we need to convert from state space over to transfer functions. And this is actually a really simple equation. We're going to start out by taking the Laplace transform of equation 1 here. So let's take the Laplace of 1. And if we do that, let's note that initial conditions are 0. And then when we take the Laplace transform, notice this is a derivative, so use the differentiation theorem. That's going to give you s times capital X of s. That's going to equal a, because a is just uh, going to be full of constants, times x of s, because we're taking the Laplace of x, plus b. That's got constants in, its, in it also. And then we've got u here. Take the Laplace of that, you get a capital U of S. Now we've got that equation. Now notice we've got an X term here and we have one here. I want to group those together. Let's move this one over to the left. And if we move that over to the left, we can write S times I minus A times X of S equals B times U of S. Now you might be wondering what i is. i is the identity matrix. So if you remember back from linear algebra, if you have a 2 by 2, you're just going to have this diagonal of 1's here. zeros everywhere else. That's what the identity matrix is. So basically it's converting this S over to matrix form. So that then we can subtract A. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to solve this for x. And you'll see why in just a second. So let's solve for x of s. And if we do that, we're going to get x of s equals si minus a. We need to do the inverse because notice this is over here. We need to basically divide through by that. And then we're going to multiply that by b times u of s. And let's call that equation 3. Now this is giving us an equation for x of s. Now we're going to hang on to that for a second. Let's look at equation 2. Let's go ahead and take the Laplace transform of this. And see what we get. We're going to get y of s equals c times x of s. Now notice, let's call it 4, notice what we have here. We've got x, okay? And let's think about what we're looking for. We want the transfer function here. Now remember the transfer function is output over input. So this g of s is going to be y of s over u of s. Notice there is no x in here at all. Now I've got y here. I've got u here, and here is x in both of these. So if I make this substitution where I plug in this equation 3 right here, then I will get rid of that x term, and I'll have it in terms of y and u, which is what I need. So that's what we'll do. 
we're going to plug 3 into 4 right here. And if we do that, we can write y of s equals c times si minus a inverse times b times u of s. Close that bracket. All right, so now we've got this. Now let's look at that. Let's look up here. Let's compare what we got. We got y, we have u, we have this stuff in the middle here. Well, let's look over here. Let's try to write this in the same form. Let's put y by itself. If we get y by itself, then y has to be equal to g times u, right? Now, if that's the case, let's compare it to what we have here. We've got y, we've got u, so all of this stuff here has to be g of s, okay? So that's gonna give you your equation. So if we rewrite this, we're gonna get that y of s over u of s equals g of s, and then g of s is gonna equal all of this in here. So C times SI minus A inverse times B. This is going to be your equation that you need. All right, very simple equation. So all you need to do is pull out your three matrices. So this A right here comes from this matrix. B is this matrix here. And then C is that output matrix. So you're just going to take those plug them in, and that's going to give you g of s. Now, that being said, you've got this inverse here. Notice we have s. So you're going to take the inverse of a symbolic matrix. That's not always that fun to do, so that's going to be the hardest part. But otherwise, this is pretty straightforward. You just plug it in and go. All right, so let's stop there. We'll pick it up in the next video with example 29.